Hi guys, today I got tweeted quite an interesting question and it's why is the time period of a simple pendulum in a satellite orbiting around the Earth infinity? Now this is the idea that if you had a uh, satellite and it had a pendulum that if it was on planet Earth it'd be swinging away nicely uh, if it's orbiting around planet Earth, the pendulum stops swinging or basically it takes an infinite amount of time to go uh, across now the reason why is that as the satellite is orbiting around it's getting pulled uh, by the force of gravity downwards uh, and the pendulum is also getting pulled down now it never actually lands on the Earth because it's, continu it's in continuous free fall so it's continuously trying to go all the way around and it never actually makes it uh, to the uh, surface of the Earth. Now, relative, uh, the relative acceleration between the uh, pendulum and the satellite is actually zero. So from the point of view of the pendulum, it's got, actually got no acceleration relative to the uh, satellite. Now there's an equation to do with the time period uh, uh, of the swing of the satellite, sorry, swing of the pendulum, and it's t equals 2 pi uh, square root of l over g, where t is the time period, l is the length of the pendulum, and g is the gravitational acceleration. Now, relative to the satellite, the actual gravitational acceleration, because it's in continuous freefall, it appears like g is actually zero. So if g is appearing like it's zero, it uh, with this formula here, uh, t is going to tend towards infinity. So it's going to take an infinite time to tick. And that's why uh, the time period uh, of a pendulum floating around in a satellite orbiting around the Earth is infinite. I love physics. Subscribe. I love physics. Subscribe. Mr. Gaza teaches. Physics!